Hi, I am Dr. Soma Madan Reddy, a consultant neurosurgeon in Apollo Hospital, Jubilee Hills, Hyderabad. Today, I would like to talk to you about endoscopy in neurosurgery. Endoscopy, which is also commonly called as keyhole surgery, is gradually gaining ground in neurosurgery. Though endoscopy was introduced more than a few decades ago in neurosurgery, it is only off late with the rapid improvement in technology, both in terms of optics and instrumentation that neuroendoscopy is uh, being vastly used for many brain and spinal conditions. The biggest advantage of endoscopy is faster recovery as a result of minimal damage to the natural tissue around the organs. So what used to take a couple of weeks for recovery in terms of spine surgery a decade ago is now less than a week. Even in brain surgery, endoscopy results in minimal damage and faster recovery. In brain surgery, endoscopy is mainly used to treatment of hydrocephalus, both in adults and children, and tumors. Though the present use of endoscopy for tumors is limited, it is definitely growing more and more importance as the technology improves. In spine surgery, endoscopy is used very commonly, most commonly to use for the disc surgeries. More than 80% of the surgeries we do in Apollo are by using a spinal endoscopy. And also, endoscopy is used in spinal fixations and some spinal tumor removals. With the addition of microscopy assisted endoscopy and with the advent of endoscopy assisted and endoscopy controlled microsurgeries, the applications of endoscopy is ever increasing. Here in Apollo Hospital, Jubilee Hills, Hyderabad, we have expertise in endoscopy for both in spine and brain cases. As I told you, we are using endoscopy in spine for more than 80% of disc surgeries and even our hydrocephalus treatment most commonly is using endoscopy these days and our results are on par with the outcomes anywhere in the world. Thank you.